blame on me. Can you believe it? Yeah, at least tell me you've been to the doctor. I'm not going to be groped by some strange guy. Dispatcher sent me to check on the status of an order. Yeah, yeah. Fucking PKs think we can just make the stuff up here magically. Just point me to your commander and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, Juan's pretty busy right now. He doesn't have time for you. We'll tell him to find the time. Jack Matt sent me. No one supervises Juan, buddy. Juan is just... Juan. Get with the program. Besides, he ain't here. You want to find him? Ask his assistant where he is. Just remember, you're on supplier turf now. Mind your manners. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? No, oh, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Hey, Luan. Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fish eye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Interested in the best stuff on this ship? More where that came from if you need them. Always a good choice. Wanna see you back. You have to work smart, not hard. Matt, not No, nothing.
about what happened at the bazaar? Chaos and mayhem. This is what comes of lawlessness. You, come here. I need to talk to you. I'm Albert. And from what I hear, you're Aiden. You have quite the reputation, my boy, for being fearless, for boldly crisscrossing the city at night, as if it were broad daylight. <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe, because a pilgrim's always a guy with some kind of dark past, a bandit, a rebel, an outcast. But from what they say about you... I'm sure whatever you've heard is in exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. I have something you probably don't come across all that much. Faith. Faith in you. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful, my boy. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need to retrieve priceless treasures before they are lost forever. Before mankind is plunged irrevocably into the intellectual and philosophical dark ages. So, your books, then? This isn't about dime store paperbacks, boy. I'm talking about the greatest works of literature ever created through the eons of human existence. The greatest thought pieces, philosophical treatises, works of romance, drama, and horror. All of which serve to illuminate and uplift humanity itself. Losing such a heritage would reduce us to cavemen, with no better way to express ourselves than through savage grunts as we scratch crude figures on walls. <laughs> sure. How can I help? Work with me, please, to find and secure these treasures. I've been researching the local private book collections. If I'm right, many priceless volumes may be found all around the city. Of course, many of the dwellings are now infested by these horrible creatures of the night. That's where you come in. Here, yeah, take this list. Each title on it corresponds to one of the many facets of humanity. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull and shatter like cheap glass. Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood, but also of mind and ideas. I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then. Hey. I thought our chances against Brennan 
memories were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Replace the wheel. That one's no good. Where'd you dig it up? Goddamn renegades attacking the canteen now? Sometimes there are. Hey, so there's this thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
August 8th, 2024. GRE report on the state of the epidemic. Uncontrolled rioting grips the city. Last month, an angry mob raided a supply ship moored at the wharf, damaging it. Soldiers panicked and threw crates of ammo overboard to prevent them from being seized by the angry mob. Thank God they kept safe the medical supplies we need to increase antizen production. But let us not forget, antizen is not a cure. It merely inhibits the virus. Immigrants deemed useful are being granted entry to the city. This selection process has sparked even more outrage and further violence. Katsumi, did you allow treatment of wounded rioters at your Central Loop Clinic? General Pratt, I... These people require <laughs> medical attention. Doctors take an oath. For fuck's sake! Your clinic is now the epicenter of a THV outbreak! Doctors have tested positive! What? Oh, God! The clinic is to be isolated immediately, a quarantine zone established. If not, the virus will spread like wildfire. We're shutting down the VNC tower transmitter. If the only way to stop the riots is to block all communications and confine them to their homes, so be it. Proud of yourself, Katsumi! Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. <sighs> 